welcome back to your channel this is going to be a single read for you guys okay so i did all your reads so far your 48 your 24 your no contact right i wanted to do a bonus but i think i'm going to cut it after this one um tomorrow's another day right these are not long reads that i'm doing but i just want to make sure that you guys got your read tonight all right you guys so um if you're going to get into a prayer, just know that you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright like that. My phone, you guys, is about to die. I have 15% on there. Um, let's get a quick one. Maybe this is going to be a 10 minute one. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. Just know that the rules could be reversed. Card causes are welcome to watch these videos. Take what's yours and the rest. Personal reading is available on the channel. You could always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of today's video. We also have the Angel of Power here. Okay. So the Angels of Power will be the 26th Angel in line. Thank you so much for coming to, to assist me with a single read for Aries. We appreciate you. All right, here, let's get into it, you guys. And see what angels have for my singles tonight. Oh, oh, sookie, sookie. All right, that didn't come through. Now, what's the message, please? All right, there it is right there. Okay. All right. All right, so my singles, this is what I'm seeing for you, okay? All right, so we have the full, we have the page of swords, and we have the uh, seven of wands in the reverse. Now, just know that, you know, at this point of your life right now, um, there's no more room for errors, okay? Um, I do feel like, you know, you might have dealt with uh, a major arcana here. You might have taken a leap of faith already. Um, jumping into some things. Some of you might have jumped into a situation where you thought water was safe to jump in and then you realized that it wasn't. Um, but I do feel like you have learned from this, okay? Um, for some of you guys, um, just make sure that you're moving into something that's going to bring you some kind of divine high vibration here. Um, we Also, we have the, 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 the sword here, which is the page of swords. Um, you're fighting for your power, you're fighting for your right, you're fighting for what you know is true. You're fighting for what you know that you really truly deserve here. You're leaving a lot of darkness behind you, okay? Um, anything that has uh, made you feel doubtful or blind, or you might have be felt very blind, shadowed by a lot of things here. Things that you felt that you might have to fight for, but those fights are over because whatever it is that you are trying to leave behind, they need to be left behind because those people have not made a decision to come clean or to come clear or to give you some kind of a clarity. This could be job related, this could be family and friendly, whatever is going on with the seven of wands and why it's in the reverse, okay? But you're letting go anyone that's holding on to you is what you're doing, okay? Because you already given these people chances, many, many chances. But now these chances is going to come to an end. Because you're not ready to give this source any more power than you already might have given already. Okay, You're fighting to get yourself back on flow. What is this? The Eight of Swords? There you go. You're letting go. You're letting go and you need to. You need to because we have the Three of Wands. You're the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Feeling very trapped and burdened here. And nothing coming in from these people that's holding you back with the seven of wands in the reverse. This is in the reverse, you guys. Okay. Major arcana here. All right. What is the fool? The page of swords. And why did the, the, the seven of wands show in the reverse? Clarify this, please, angel. Aries. Singles. Hmm. That three of wands is coming in the reverse. So that tells me that someone is dealing with some kind of a fear. Fear into transitioning. Okay. Or uh, fear into what is needed right now. Change. Okay. What is the three of wands in the reverse? The three of wands in the reverse is a tourist source. So someone is choosing not to see a situation for what it really truly is. Or trying not to learn are feeling very stuck 
or just deal with people that doesn't know how to communicate or whatever the hell's going on here, okay? What is the tool, the, the tool source here? The justice been served here, okay? Um, whatever this justice is, it's having me, is really having me feel like, you know, yes, you've, you've tried, you've tried to solve many issues here with others. Now it's time that you solve your own issues, which is fine for your independence, fine for your right, fine for your truth, fine for your power, taking back your power back. You might have given your power to many. The seven of pentacles in the reverse, okay? Giving back your power, now you're trying to fix the pieces of the broken puzzle here. The Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. You're taking back everything that you give. You have to take everything back here. It's going to take some work, but you can do it. This is your money. This is your stability. This is what you're trying to invest in, in as far as change is concerned. As far as what you're giving to others and they're not even have the decency to give you half back. All right, let's see. Why am I hearing time is, is, is at the essence here? Please clarify these messages because I just feel like, you know, what's going on here? Singles, please. Aries singles. Aries singles, please. What's the message? Tap into the energy, please. All right. So you're walking away. You you leaving a lot of things behind. I, you you're fed up. You're fed up. <laughs> you fed up. There's a night. A wands energy that's coming true. That's the person is telling me that you're fed up of the whole show here. Okay, you're making a move. You're moving away into something better. Even though your you, your intentions are not to walk away, but you feel like at this point you have no other choice. The two of wands, the knight of wands, the six of swords. You have no other choice, but you're moving into something better. Something better awaits you here. The sun in the reverse. The, the two of wands here, this is in the reverse. So someone is fearful here, filled with fear of maybe feeling like something ain't going to work out. But something have to give, though, because standing there, it ain't going to change a damn thing here. Okay? Because someone is on a jolly go ride here. And they're not on the same kind of a mind land or, or a mind frame or building anything as some of you feel. You have a lot of wands that's coming in here. I feel like you shouldn't share any more energy right now with the sun being in the reverse. Mm -mm. That's a hell to the no. No more energy given, honey. It's already taken its toll. Page of Cups. Something new. Someone wants to come in and say, hey, over here. Okay. I'm hearing a child here, but it also, also could be a, a, an opportunity for something new. What is the page of cups? Okay, so you're healing. So you're healing here with the, the nine of swords in the reverse. You're healing from this anxiety or whatever is going on with you and tapping into your empress energy. You're rebuilding a structure here of love, of light, of happiness. You're taking back your power. You're taking back your peace. You're loving on yourself. For some of you, you're either planning something nice or going somewhere at night, maybe taking a little vacation somewhere, maybe going to the spa and just getting all dolled up and sweet, maybe going shopping. You're doing you, boo. Okay? You're doing you because you will never be set back anymore. Some of you just don't want us to be set back by this Knight of Pentacles. This Knight is giving me the zero. Yeah, there's no manifestation coming up with this person. The Five of Pentacles here. Somebody might have left you to offend here. Could be offend financially or offend mentally or emotionally or something. Something might have been lost here. Someone was just not there. And now you're moving on and someone wants to return. You're moving on, not you moving. You don't want to move on into something. You're just moving on into being better, a better you. 
and someone is jealous and want to just come back and dim a light here. What's going on? Let's see. What's new? I mean, want to hear something new here. I'm sick of the past here. There you go. The Nine of Cups. All right. So this is all about something new, okay? So this is your opportunity that is coming in, all right? Whatever you've been beckoning, whatever you've been crying or pleading or crying, bloody hell to the angels, they're answering your call here. All right? So now my things you're going to have to get ready for this. This could be love and abandoning. This could be... Um, a job situation um, this could be um, friends or family that you might have lost or whatever is going on but something is changing for you in abundance here okay um, get ready for this um, you're going to be okay just know that the angels have heard you the angels have supplied all your needs here you just have to continue to have faith and have strength here and not allowing anyone to take your vision your goals your dreams or nothing that you're trying to invest or manifest in yourself manifesting you because the angels got your back you're not alone the tempest got your back the justice is here to make sure that you are justified for everything that you have given so far and you will be highly favored okay this is going to be your read my darlings i hope that it did resonate i have two percent on my phone right now um so just know that i love you guys so so much i will talk to you later i know i have one percent see you guys later i love you okay bye hello seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel y'all it's always such a blessing to have you right back here today's reading is for aries aries it is your day to shine please shine bright like a diamond also please make a friendly note that if the reading does not resonate to your present situation please do not get hurt offended or in your feelings it only simply means that the reading is not for you today However, if you come back a different day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Aries, turn the post notification on so that way you will always be the first to be notified each and every time that I upload brand new contents, okay? Also, please give the video a thumbs up, y'all, because... Once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push the videos out in for a much wider audience. The channel will grow and the video will grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and support. I see the love, y'all, and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. It is not going unnoticed. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. For all my returning seekers, you are blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. Now, please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. But a prayer is needed here before I get into your reading. So let me get right into a prayer, a quick one, and just jump right into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send on your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me all the right words and all the right messages that you want me to share with the seekers for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and I give you all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Okay, Aries. So know that this is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone. It might go in the reverse. It might go for even one of my cross watchers who are watching today. I'm taking personal readings at this time, y'all. So please go ahead and connect with me. Um, everything that you need to know about how to connect to get your reading, it will be written in the description part of this video. And again, if this reading does not resonate, I do have a playlist, y'all. So you might want to go ahead and check the playlist series and see if that one res is one is there that will resonate to whatever you're going through. Otherwise, just come back a different day because I do upload three videos every single day. All right, angels, let's get to work for Aries. Let's tap into Aries' um, vibration here. 
energy. Okay, the Queen of Cups is coming in. It's letting me know that someone is presently having some kind of a health issues right now. Aries, um, it might be you, it might be your person, it might be someone on your side that's pulling in that energy. It also may go in the reverse. It might go for one of the cross watches who's watching, okay? But health issues are coming in in the reverse. The dead card is also showing up in the reverse. The world card is showing up in the reverse. I see a child with situation coming in here. Um... Someone might have been through something as a child growing up. Maybe that past issue is presently kind of affecting your um, grown stage of life. Okay, that situation is still lingering. It's, I feel for some of you might have to um, take care of that childhood issue because it's kind of blocking your happy. It's blocking your happy here. It's telling me that it's your block. Um, the childhood issue that you're going through that is going on right now for someone is blocking your happy, okay? It's making your life more difficult than it should be. Childhood issues. All right, I feel like there's a situation here that is in your circle. That is making you feel down and weary, okay? I feel like you're not going back to that situation here. You don't want to go back. You don't want to go back there. There's a whole lot of pain there. Maybe that childhood issue you don't want to go back to. Third part of situation coming in here. I feel like it's someone that's very close to you. Someone that you might have known. The circle, someone very close to your circle. But there's definitely a third party coming in here in the three of cups in the reverse. That situation has someone learning nothing, all right? It didn't learn anything here. Unless it was not learned here, this person is still stuck. For this third party situation here, it is just lingering and lingering and lingering and lingering. I see for some of you, um, Iris, you just have a lot going on. A lot going on, um, past, present, and future situation, okay? You just have a lot of things. It's like every time you think you close one chapter, something else comes around to distract you, to throw you off your wagon, to have you feeling depressed. Some of you are thinking, like, when this feeling is ever going to end? When am I ever going to be happy? All right? It's what I'm feeling here. I see someone wants to talk. The Page of Pentacles is telling me that someone wants to talk to you, okay? Someone wants to rekindle something. Someone wants to come in and say something to you. Someone is moving forward to, towards you, okay? Someone wants to talk to you about a situation. Um, I feel like you've already made that decision. So regardless or not that person comes in to talk to you about what the problem is, you've already made your decision. You have already come to a conclusion. So it's like you don't need any clarity or any closure for that because you already know. Third party situation did come in, they want to talk about it, okay? I feel that um, the King of Pentacles coming in here. This person is very stable though. This person seems to be very stable, kind at heart. Okay? But you do have trust issues with this person, alright? There's trust issues coming in for sure. In your present situation, you're now. I see a, a new beginning coming in. You're about to either start over, that person's about to start over, something new is coming in. Maybe it could be a pregnancy that's coming in that's new as well. Um, someone is ending, ending the relationship. Someone maybe wants to end the relationship. Maybe it is your energy that wants to end this relationship and move forward. Because someone wants to talk to you and I feel like you're just not ready to talk. So it could be your energy who wants to 
close a chapter. Um, trust your intuition about the situation, okay? Because all I see here is this pettiness between two people. Secret and lies, betrayal, and I feel like you don't want to share anything, anything more with this person. Communication is coming through. There was, seems to be none that have fallen apart. Um, I see sadness coming into this relationship as well. Someone seems to be absent from the relationship. Someone is um, maybe had mourned a separation. Uh, maybe someone is still mourning that separation. Uh, maybe you have mourned it and kind of moved on from it because someone wants to talk. Someone is ready to talk, okay? What are the messages here, please? What are the messages here, please, for Aries? All right, so someone was very not honest, not keeping it real. Someone didn't keep it real, okay? Someone was definitely not right. I feel like this person is going to get a fate of bad luck is what I'm feeling here, all right? In the Nine of Pentacles here, someone wasn't keeping it real. I see deceptions coming through here, okay? Deceptions coming through. Um, a fate of bad luck is coming through is what I'm feeling here. In the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like money isn't going right. Money maybe is not going right with you. Our money is maybe is not going right with this person, with the circle. But someone is having some money issues here. Money issues. To the floor. Money issues is coming through. Okay. So if it is you that is having money problems right now, know that this person cannot help you at this present moment. They are blocked to help you. Alright? They cannot help you with your money issues right now. Or in the reverse, if they have a, if they are having money issues, you are not able to help them right now. You are blocked to help them, okay? Because disappointment is what I see coming in here. Because someone thinks someone has moved on. Maybe someone has moved away, all right? Long distance type of a feeling here. But I feel like someone is waiting for this person who have moved um, far away. They're hard to deal with, though. They're very hard to deal with. This person is watching you. They could be watching your social media here. All right? The hang, the hangman here. Someone's watching you. This person is watching you. They're watching your every move. Um, I feel like they're checking out your, your Facebook. They may be trying to ask questions about you. I see maybe they're probably even trying to... Um, send you messages dm instagram if you have that your social media you know they they privately send you messages i feel like this person maybe even have fake pages where they're trying to snook send you friend requests on facebook trying to sneak into your personal business to see who you have going on what you got going on because i feel like this person think that you might have moved on to someone else because someone is ending someone doesn't want to return here yeah, someone does not want to return here at all. Let's move with caution, okay? Because this person is definitely watching you. They're watching you. Um, if you, I mean, your strength, your strength is going to take your strength for this kind of a relationship, okay? But what I do feel here, though, is that you have to gather your confidence towards the situation, all right? And just fix the conflicts. You have to just fix the conflicts and move on from it. Because you don't want it to linger here. Because it will linger if you allow it to linger. It will definitely linger if you allow it to linger. You don't have to be with someone in order to fix those conflicts. And just move on from it. Just move forward from it. Just make amends. Um, if people want to say I'm sorry. Because sorry is a form of healing. Okay. Uh, apology or accepting that apology is a form of healing and move moving forward to bigger and better things. Okay, 
Now that is your reading for today, Aries. I hope it did resonate with you. If it did, please let me know your situation down below. Also remember to pray out because prayer works all the time. But most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find. Thank you.